Type Router with the Sherwin Williams Company. We're going to show you today the recovery color change system. Coming in on a Monday morning, this would be what it would look like. It's going to have solvent loaded in the lines and be at a stop. To start up, I'm simply going to select whatever color, sorry, here, that you want. In this case, we'll pick color two. simply hit start up. You can see in real time now what it's doing. It's loading the color. The first thing it does is it so the air pushes all the solvent on the line. The air is now out. You can see the color is now loading. And it's loading to dump. Now triggering the guns, so the color is loaded through the guns. What we're doing now is we're circulating, the circulation valve, color change valve is open and the return's open. So while we're in production, it's still circulating, but the stop valve is off. So it's now in a run ready state. The dual control will interlock to the other color change that is down line. For instance, on color change one, we're doing NGR stain, and on color change number two, second spray booth, we'd be doing white stains. It will interlock and change the color on the second controller from this panel as well. So it's on a time delay, so when you change the color two here, in the next number of seconds, it'll change to color two down there when you activate the dual control. To actuate a color change, uh, in the middle of the day or, or during production, simply select your color. We'll go in this case back to color one, close, and we'll actuate the color change. You can now see it's pushing air through color two and recovering all of the stain. Now dumping the air, it's going to do an air solvent chop to scrub the lines through the guns and back out to the dump. You can hear the air solvent in the background. triggering through the guns. It's now pushing all of the solvent out with air. The reason we put take, we purge the solvent is we, want to, we don't want to contaminate the virgin uh, stain. So you have good color consistency. We're now loading color one into the system, pushing the air out through the dump. Guns now trigger to load. Now back into circulation mode that we mentioned earlier, and it's in the run ready state. You're not ready for production, you just did a color change. Uh, at any point in the setup of this, if you want to change the actual fluid pressure, you're going to go to, sorry, yes, and then pick which color you want. desired fluid pressure for that color and hit return. In real time, it's always going to show you what it's sitting at currently and then what it's set at. If you want to change the name of the color, like you, you change the pump supply, you just simply go here, instead of maple, we'll call it Old World. Hit enter. And now you can see the old world is now the label on color one. Close out. Um, all of these values will be uh, password protected. So if you want to actually change the pressure or any of the time settings, you would need the password to actuate that. 
all you, an operator will be able to do is start up, do a color change, and the shutdown at the end of the day without the password. So what we've shown you today is going to require the password to get into. As far as the different setups, the load at the beginning of the day, what we're doing is we're doing a, a, a purge of the air since everything is full of solvent. Then we load the new color and then purge the guns. During the day, we, we push the uh, solvent that's in the guns out, then do a, a chop, and we do it by whatever number of cycles you want. You can do it six cycles. After you do a chop and clean the lines, then you purge the guns, and then you push uh, the solvent out with air, then you load your new color. You always want to purge the solvent out before you uh, load the color, otherwise you're going to dilute it. And then with the new color, you, you purge the guns. At the uh, shutdown, what that does is we, we push air, we collect all the solvent, we do our solvent chop, and then we load it with solvent, and then it shuts and flushes the guns and shuts down. So we have three separate uh, uh, setups. And then your dual control is the delay before it actuates the uh, color change on the second controller downstream. At the end of the day, when you want to go to clean up, all you do is press one button and shut down. It's now actuating that shutdown feature. It'll clean everything out, collect all the stains, and it will leave clean solvent in the system and it will have the guns purged out. Thank you for your time and enjoy your many years of service with your color changer. One of the things with this system is it controls everything through the PLC. Do not turn the PLC off. If, it, if you turn the PLC off, the circulation of the stains is automatically stopped. So this system is to be left on at all times. Good point, Steve. We'll wait a minute, we'll let it finish the, the cycle so you can see it run into completion. shutdown cycle. Now enjoy your many years of service with your new color changer. Thank you.